There's only one place in the world just like this, and that's McDonald's Next in Hong Kong. It's kind of a concept store. Hong Kong was a market that was hip, trendy, progressive, and they could try some interesting things on their menu. And boy, they've done it. come in the door and you can order in the traditional line. You go up to the counter and order, you know, your Big Mac, your fries, whatever you'd like. Or you can do like me, where you order from a kiosk, customize the meal with everything you want on it and everything you don't, and then take a little table tent with a number on it, put it on your table, and a waiter or waitress actually comes and delivers the food to you on a wooden tray. They have things outside your traditional hamburgers and fries, all kinds of things that you can't get in the States. I'm gonna take you over there really quick and, and show you this, which is really cool. Look at that quinoa that you can have on your McDonald's salad. Different ingredients, that's pineapple, mushrooms, jalapenos. So if you're used to McDonald's coffee, they have everything from espressos that you can order, like a flat white or a mochaccino, hazelnut latte. They also have a pastry section where you can get everything from croissants, danishes, muffins, cream puffs. So absolutely wild. Table side service. They'll deliver it to you on China, on actual dishes, and I've got silverware. I've ordered a bunch of stuff on the menu. So first up is the Shogun Burger. So we've got the seaweed seasoning. We'll have to check this out. All right, the Shogun Burger. So I came all the way to Hong Kong to try this for you. Oh, that's delicious. Pork, a fried egg, so similar to what you get on an Egg McMuffin. There's lettuce, there's cheese, teriyaki sauce, and I just put the seaweed seasoning, your traditional French fries. Just as good as back at home. Now to try their Angus Signature Collection Burger. So this has lettuce, tomatoes, premium Angus beef on a ciabatta bun. So check this out. Okay, that one passes the taste test as well. So now we have the grape punch with the fresh fruit in it. It's fizzy. Oh, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I'd love to see this come back to the States. So now we've got the McDonald's corn pie. <laughs> and it looks just like the hot apple pie, but there's corn inside, so let's try that. I'm a believer when it comes to this. It is a sweet corn. Um, it reminds me of something you get at a fair. And this is the green tea and bean sundae. So I believe there's red bean in here. So it's just kind of like your regular McDonald's sundae, the vanilla sundae. Oh yeah. If you're a fan of green tea, you'd like this. Hey, don't knock it until you try it. But I've also got iced crunchy Ovaltine. So, bottoms up. Okay, so it, it tastes like regular Ovaltine chocolate milk. There's some foam, some froth on the top, and on top of that, they've got some crunch on there, which honestly tastes like Cocoa Pebbles, the cereal. <laughs> Last but not least, but a coconut mango rabbit mousse cake. I'm gonna have to take the cuteness away here. Wow, that's actually very good. So this is just a, uh, a coconut mousse and it has kind of a uh, mango jelly in the center of it. 
Yeah, it actually does come on a real plate. Actual China in China. Okay. <laughs> a one-in-a-kind experience if you're a fan of McDonald's and even if you're not.